Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to uh, our Vanderbilt uh, webinar. This week we um, we are going to um, to have a couple of webinars, uh, mainly on the uh, the creels. Uh, the creels are um, a headache for um, for many of our customers. It's a lot of uh, time-consuming, labor-intensive, and also because of the creels, they can be uh, quite some waste of, uh, of yarns. We are going to, um, to have three seminars uh, this week. We are going to have on uh, Thursday uh, a seminar on the uh, smart creels, uh, but with the focus on our uh, testing machines. Tomorrow we are going to have a, a seminar on the uh, fast creel um, with our carpets. And there it's not a smart creel, but a fast creel. It's a little bit different, but it's the same principle. And today we are going to have a webinar on the uh, smart creels, but mainly focused on our velvet machines and on our uh, flat weaving application. As I said, when we talk to our customers, and especially these days, cost is very important. So with the creels, there can be a significant saving on the yarns. But also, flexibility is demanding. Flexibility for shorter runs, but also flexibility for different products. And different products that we have to develop that are difficult for flat weave to produce with a normal uh, beam. So that's why already since a couple of years, uh, focus our developments uh, in Van de Wiel, uh, here at Van de Wiel, yeah, on the digital machines, but also especially on the, uh, on the grills, to give our customers the possibility to create new problems, new products, not problems, to create new products and to uh, produce more productive. As you can see, we are back here in our experience center in, um, in Belgium. That's where we are going to hold all the, uh, the seminars. The seminar of today, uh, as I said, on velvet and on uh, flat weaving, uh, will be given by Hans. Hans is... Uh, somewhere at the back there, behind me, hiding uh, between a creel or hiding inside, uh, inside a creel. And uh, let's see now uh, if we can find uh, Hans. Also, just one uh, reminder, can you please um, switch off your microphone? It's more comfortable for, um, for everybody and not so disturbing. There is a chat uh, session also here available when you have your questions again like last week or two weeks ago put them in the chat and we will come back to you with an answer uh, as soon as we can and now let's see if we can find the uh, hands somewhere there at the back i had a whole text prepared as you can see but let's do it a little bit different and let me walk you to our showroom on the things i want to explain like you would be here right now I'm in a creel, and like Philip says, we will talk about smart creels. We will talk, this will be a smart week. And uh, Christophe will talk on Thursday about the smart creel on tufting, whereas I will talk today on the smart creel on velvet and on uh, the flat weaving machine. This is here a traditional creel on a carpet machine. And why we use a creel? Because this is a pile fabric, and in a pile fabric, you have different consumption on the different warp ends so it makes it impossible to use a beam you use these individual bobbins instead of a beam and they or the pattern is controlled by weights by manually putting weights on each yarn that goes into the loom the thing is of course as you can see this is quite big and it takes a lot of space also when you have to change a color it's very labor intensive you have to do bobbin by bobbin moreover you have to keep this machine replenished you have to if the 
uh, bobbin is almost at the end. You have to replace it by a full bobbin to be able to continue to weave. What people tend to do, if it's almost at the end, not to have the machine stop, they replace the bobbin already. And this results in either a lot of wasted bobbins, a lot of almost empty bobbins that are wasted, or you have to rewind them and uh, put them back in the machine, an extra process in the production. We, our R&D had the task or the challenge to overcome all these problems, to overcome the thing of space, to overcome the labor, and to overcome uh, the waste of, uh, of yarn. And that we did. We walk into, this is here, the bonus showroom, where we will show you all the bonus machines in the next webinar, but also the smart wheel. We are passing here first our GI machine, which is a machine up to 5,700 hooks. On top, you have the SI machine. We will handle this in the following webinar. This is not for today. But here we will talk about the special features of this machine, be it with a dwell, also all the different controllers we have, and of course the 96 technology that allows us to make the Jacquard machines as compact as they are today. Behind me here, you see two uh, setups of the smart wheel. On this side, you have the smart wheel for flat weaving, and on the other side, you have the smart wheel for the velvet weaving, the pile fabric. This is non-pile and this is pile. The requirements or the things we want to solve on both are exactly the same. The execution is a bit different and sometimes the advantage you can get from a smart keel is bigger. It gives extra advantages or, advantages or different advantages on the one application compared to the other. The way it works, that we have a rack of bins that uh, with each bin, instead of a rack of bobbins, each bin is the same as a bobbin you saw in the traditional creel. Inside the bin, there is a guiding rod. And around this guiding rod, the yarn is warped around it with the color or the amount that is required by the design that is woven. The size of the bin is also different to the application. You will see in flat weaving, it's a little bit different. In tufting, first of all, they don't have this guiding rod. But secondly, the bins are much bigger. That's because the yarn is also a different kind of yarn. So the bins are filled. We take the yarn, instead of doing individual bobbins, we will take the yarn from a big bobbin, like you have here. And these big bobbins are fed to an IRO feeder. The IRO feeder goes to the robot. The robot positions itself in front of the cell where that specific yarn or that color is required, fills it up with the amount of yarn that is requested, and moves on to the next cell that needs the same uh, color. If the complete bin has been replenished with that specific color, you change the big bobbin and you do the other color. We do this color by color. We do this continuously. That means when the loom is working or the loom is stopped, this machine works all the time. So the loom is always ready to be, uh, to be run. Very easy also on planted colors. Planted colors the same way. This is a very easy way of doing it. And sometimes you see within a bin two different colors. And that points a color change can have halfway a change of color to the rest of the bin. If you have a look, you remember these weights, these uh, little weights we had uh, on the uh, traditional creel, where we put weights on the uh, uh, yarn manually again by labor here. What we do, we have motors. So we have a motor that control the tension on the yarn on the other side. So this yarn goes inside the warp. These motors are controlling the tension on the yarn, either by feeding in yarn to the machine or by holding back. As such, it keeps the yarn constant that goes to the machine. Individually, each warp end has automatic individual tension control of the warp end. 
This is a velvet machine. It's a VSI 32, biofabric, of course. And on this machine, we make fabrics for upholstery weaving, apparel, all different types of things. You, a, a velvet fabric is typically a filling. Um, your weft is a ground fabric, a backing, and is then the pile connecting both cut in the middle. The pile here, both the pile on this machine, both the pile and the ground can have a design in it. You can also have Dobby velvet, looks like this, single color, can be piece dyed or uh, afterwards, and is only pile. Therefore, that is on a Dobby machine. On this machine, where we make a design in the pile as well as in the ground, we have both being controlled by a Jacquard machine. In this case, the pile, in this execution, the pile comes from the smart grill, the ground comes from a beam. On a machine like this, the Jacquard on top is a SI Jacquard. It, this machine has 1600 pile ends in one color, so we have 3200. And next to that, we have the ground beam, which has another 19,000, a little bit more, 19,200, I think, warp ends on the ground beam. So that requires a Jacquard machine of 23,000 hooks. And that we do with our SI machine, not the JI that I showed you in the middle. Thanks to this compact and this new 96 technology, one of the advantages of this is that you can make your machine very compact and allows you to have full control of all the design, of the complete width of your machine as far as design is concerned. Another thing that is special on the VSI is, of course, Jacquard, is, of course, that uh, we need a different shed opening. It has to be a bit bigger because we are passing with two rapiers at one go. Therefore, the machine is positioned a bit higher. And, of course, we need a hex separation. We need a separation between our pile and our ground. And this is exactly the same we are using on the Bonas uh, Jacquard machines in case of Terry, for example. It's in, built inside the machine. You can have a different shed opening for the pile of the terry and for the ground, making it much more efficient, and you can weave with much less stress on the yard. Same thing applies for high-density fabrics. But we were mentioning, we were talking about smart grill, not about the special uh, jacquard features that we will definitely handle next time. This is the smart grill for flat weaving. Basically, same technical uh, problems we had to solve, but of course, a little bit different outcome. You remember in the uh, lab last time, we were talking about how to make a yarn passport. So how to determine all the characteristics of your yarn. We do this, and based on this, we do the setting of the robot, who is working in exactly the same way. You have the bins, bins, you have the big bobbins here fed through the IRO feeder going into the smart field that is replenishing all the time the different bins. And each bin, again, is one warp band of my uh, fabric. The tension, again, is individually controlled. You see here the other side, just like we had on the velvet machine. Also here, we have individual tension control of each warp end that is fed into the loom. A special thing, on velvet and on pile fabrics, we are used of weaving with a creel. On flat weaving, this is completely new. So this machine is a flat weaving machine, but without any beams. If you look here, there's no beams in the machine. So the beams are being replaced by a smart creel. Now on the velvet machine, the advantage you have there by using a smart creel instead of a standard creel is that we are able to handle small orders. You can handle a small quantity of orders and still make profit on this. In the past, maybe you had to refuse these orders and you had a minimum quantity that is quite big. With a smart creel on the velvet machine, this is no longer necessary. Whereas the advantage here is a little bit more than that. Of course, you can also handle color changes or new uh, designs very easily because you have a, uh, an extra production step you don't have to do. But here, you can actually weave fabrics that are basically unweavable with another machine. 
This fabric you have here is a fabric with a total unbalance, both in warp and in weft. What I mean is, on the warp, you can have long floats, completely long weave structures with on one warp end, and on the warp end next to it, a very short binding. If you do this on a beam, you can't weave. If you do this with a smart tool, you have the full liberty of doing this. So again, here, with this machine, you can make products you cannot make before. And you can make all the rest. You can make limited orders. Uh, you have all the other advantages as well. Basically, you want to make this fabric, you need to have a smart tool. The special thing about this loom is also that it's, as you can see, the jacquard is not on a gantry. The jacquard is mounted directly on the loom. We can have this with a platform or without a platform. The machine, the machine we have here is a JI, a JI with a capacity in this case of 5,700 hooks, allowing us to have full design. The full width of the loom can be designed so it's a single repeat machine. What we need here, because of the special weave structures we want to use and the, the difficult things we do, we need a dwell, and a dwell is today a standard feature on all Van der Wille and all Bonas Jacquard machines. So compared here, we have a 5,700 hook. On the JI machine, we have a 23,000 hook machine. This is the JI. On the SI machine, on the Velvet machine, we have a 23,000 hook. Difference between both is that this is the SI, this is the JI. That is a little bit about the smart crew. I hope you could see what we are busy with here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, to, to tell us. Next time, we will go deeper into the jacquard itself. We will talk about bonus jacquards, and we will go over the complete range of JI and SI and the big advantages we have, be it in being able as the only one to offer you a full electronic selection or to offer you exactly the machine you need. Our range is so wide covering from 2,000 hooks up to 32, 36,000 hooks, and in little steps, so you can choose the jacquard that is closest to your requirement. I see that Philip arrived, and we are coming to the, the end of this webinar. Um, I'll pass the word to Philip. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Hans, for this uh, for this clean um, and very detailed uh, explanation. I hope that it uh, attracts uh, interest of, um, of uh, the audience, I would say, and the listening listeners. And uh, I repeat, if you have questions, you can ask them now on the on the chat, or otherwise you um, you send us a mail. So today uh, the seminar was on the smart uh, krill for the flat weaving, as you could see, and the velvet. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to, um, to have a similar one, but then um, focused really on the fast grill for the face-to-face -face, uh, carpet weaving. And on Thursday, uh, Christophe is going to, uh, to give uh, a session on the smart grills for, um, for uh, tufting, our tufting machines. And that's also going to be a, a very interesting one. So the ones of you uh, feel free, feel welcome to uh, subscribe you also for the sessions tomorrow or the, the day after tomorrow. Keep also an eye on, the, uh, on our website because we are going to put some other small videos on it and maybe some more um, webinars. Thank you, Hans, for the, uh, for the very good explanation. And um, so it wish, uh, I only wish you to, to thank you to... to um, to everybody and don't forget if you have questions uh, feel free to ask them and see you all um, back i hope tomorrow and on thursday bye bye don't forget the next bonus webinar soon bye bye